a blessed morning to each and every one of you who has tuned in to Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah! Today is April the 28th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Faith for the Good Warfare. Our opening theme verse is from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verses 18 to 19, and I read, Timothy, my son, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them you may fight the battle well, holding on to faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected, and so have suffered shipwreck with regard to the faith. Hallelujah! Our theme verse is very enlightening. To war a good warfare requires faith and a good conscience. Also, it's important to know who you are up against in this warfare. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These rulers of darkness are the ones that run the course of this world, manipulate and control the thoughts and minds of those who are rebellious to Christ and the Gospel. There is no good whatsoever in demons. Everything about them is evil, and they have no restraint to wickedness except when we, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, restrain them. Ephesians 6 tells us with what to put up our onslaught and wage our defense against these evil forces of darkness. Verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have done all to stand. Then, in the 16th verse, after identifying the defense paraphernalia, he says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of wicked and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god hallelujah that's from the book of ephesians chapter 6 verses 16 to 17. here is why the message of faith is so important because it says above all taking the shield of faith this does not mean you are to look for a shield called faith Rather, it means as you operate your faith in God's word, it is a shield with which you shall, without doubt, be able to quench, neutralize, diffuse, and put out all the fiery darts of the wicked. It doesn't matter what missile the enemy throws at you. Your faith quells and neutralizes them. Hallelujah! Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You may look that up in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. The more of God's word you hear, the more your faith increases. And the more you put the word of God to work, the more your faith is strengthened. Keep hearing God's word and putting it to work. Your faith will be strong and effective. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your holy hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, I thank you for the faith I have in your word. My faith is alive and with it, I quench, neutralize, diffuse, put out and extinguish all the fiery darts of the enemy, foiling and rendering his devices, manipulations, tricks, lies, schemes and stratagems ineffective. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I highly recommend that you do take some time today to study this following scripture. From the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 13 to 17, preferably the Amplified Classic Version. Hallelujah. Tune in again tomorrow for another glorious message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ 
is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.